When you think of famous womanizers from the 20th century, several prominent names jump to mind. John F. Kennedy, Wilt Chamberlain, Frank Sinatra, and Clint Eastwood. Wait, really, Clint? While those first three names may seem obvious, the fact that the stolid, silent Eastwood is included in legendary Lotharios may come as a bit of a shock. But trust me, belong there he does, with a laundry list of ex-lovers and an unknown number of children fathered. Eastwood definitely got around the block more than once. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and today we're taking a look at the numerous ladies Dirty Harry has been involved with over the decades. Be sure to hit that thumbs up icon to show us support and subscribe to the channel for more. But now let's delve into the love life of a man who lost his virginity to a neighbor at 14 and hasn't looked back since. Maggie Johnson Imagine getting set up on a blind date, waiting patiently in the restaurant, when all of a sudden a 6'4 Adonis with a jawline chiseled from stone named Clint Eastwood strides in. You'd think you won the lottery, and that's exactly what happened to UC Berkeley student Maggie Johnson in early 1953. The two were immediately smitten, and after a hasty engagement were married in December of 53. Eastwood only 23. What followed was a tumultuous union that lasted officially for 30 one years, but in reality it was over much sooner. Eastwood almost immediately began to see other women, and although he described the marriage as being somewhat open, a direct quote being, we don't believe in togetherness. The sheer volume of Eastwood's dalliances put a strain on his relationship with Johnson. The two nearly called it quits in the mid-60s, but after a trial separation they reconciled and had two kids together. Born in 1968 and 72, the reconciliation was not to last however, and by 1975, Eastwood was living with actress Sandra Locke. An official separation followed in 1978, but their divorce wasn't made official until 1984, with Eastwood paying Johnson a lump sum of $25 million. Not too shabby of a settlement. Affairs Part 1 Clint wasted no time in stepping out on Maggie Johnson. Before they were even engaged, he had an affair with a young member of the Little Theater group in Seattle. An affair that led to the birth of Eastwood's first acknowledged child, a mere eight weeks after his marriage. And the affairs didn't stop there. Actress Mamie Van Doren said the two had a tryst in 1955 on the set of Star in the Dust. And that dalliance was followed soon by involvements with, hold on, I've gotta take a deep breath here. Restaurant critic Gail Green, model Kathy Regan, co-stars Inger Stevens, Jean Seberg, and Joanne Harris, actress Catherine Deneuve, columnist Bridget Byrne, and singer Keely Smith. Wow, I mean the beast with two backs, more like a beast with dozens. But among these late 50s and 60s trysts, not a one was a lasting meaningful relationship, except with Roxanne Tunis. Roxanne Tunis by 1959, Eastwood had become a bona fide star due to his hit show Rawhide, and during the Western second season, he began a torrid affair with dancer and stuntwoman Roxanne Tunis. That, in an unusual move for Eastwood, lasted for more than 14 years. You'd think that after one child born out of wedlock, Eastwood would have learned about the joys of contraceptives, but apparently that was not the case. And in 1964, Tunis gave birth to the actor's second child, Kimber, a fact that was kept secret from the public until 1989. Kept secret from everyone except Eastwood's current wife, Maggie Johnson, who knew about Kimber and even met Tunis face to face when visiting one of Eastwood's sets. Talk about awkward, huh? But a roving eye never stops looking, and by the early 70s, Eastwood had firmly set his on actress Sandra Locke. Sandra Locke. In 1972, Eastwood met actress Sandra Locke in a meeting at his office, and the two instantly hit it off. By 75, the couple was living together, apparently in bliss, despite tension with Eastwood's current wife, Maggie Johnson, who wouldn't let Locke on her property or even call her home. Locke, for a time, even put a hold on Eastwood's notorious womanizing. She wrote in her autobiography, quote, Clint seemed astonished at his need for me, even admitting that he'd never been faithful to one woman because he'd never been in love before, he confided. He even made up a song about it. She made me monogamous. That flattered and delighted me. I would never doubt his faithfulness and his love for me. 
but despite the song and the newfound commitment to monogamy, Eastwood refused to have Locke's children. The actress had two abortions in the mid 70s at his behest, before eventually having her tubes tied. And speaking of monogamy, Eastwood was indeed monogamous for the first five years of the relationship, but then the 80s hit and the ultimate player was back in the game. Affairs Part 2 Did any of us really think Eastwood would all of a sudden stop his philandering ways? And after several happy years with Locke, he started to get that familiar itch, and by the early 80s was straying again. During this time, Eastwood shacked up with story analyst Megan Rose, actress Jamie Rose, animal rights activist Jane Brolin, and flight attendant Jacqueline Reeves. A secret affair that would have long-lasting consequences for the actor. Jacqueline Reeves In the mid-80s, Eastwood began an affair with Jacqueline Reeves and fathered two children with the flight attendant, Scott and Catherine, born in 1986 and 88. Eastwood was able to keep this second family secret from everyone. That is, until an expose by Star Tabloid in 1990 revealed the children to the world. And what a sh storm for the actor. An already acrimonious split from Sandra Locke became even worse. Locke ended up suing Eastwood in 1990 for palimony and in 1995 for fraud and continued to make discrediting comments about him until her death. The Jacqueline Reeves revelations also put a serious strain on Eastwood's next big romantic involvement and ultimately contributed to its end. Francis Fisher Eastwood met actress Frances Fisher on the set of Pink Cadillac in 1988, and the two had a secret, non-exclusive affair for two years before going public in 1990. Fisher later said of dating Eastwood, quote, I simply felt that this was it, the big one. I had no idea that every woman he meets probably feels as I did. Yeah, that sounds about right. The two's relationship soon became more serious, and they starred together in Eastwood's Oscar-winning 1992 epic Unforgiven, and had a child in 1993 named Francesca. But surprise, surprise, there was was trouble brewing in paradise. Eastwood forced Fisher to hide her pregnancy until the third trimester because, as he puts it, quote, I don't want that kind of thing taking attention away from my Oscar race. Woof. That, coupled with the revelation of Eastwood's hidden kids with Reeves, and a 39-year-old woman from Washington coming forward and saying that Eastwood was also her biological father, a claim Eastwood never officially responded to. Well, it all proved too much drama, and Eastwood and Fisher split in 1995. Dina Ruiz Before Fisher had completely moved out of their house, Eastwood was reportedly already dating Dina Ruiz, a news anchor 35 years younger. Because yeah, of course, scenes right out of the Eastwood playbook. Except the two did get married, just Eastwood's second legal marriage. And by all accounts, the two had a very happy marriage and in 1996 welcomed their daughter Morgan. So that's eight officially acknowledged children for those of you counting. In 2012, Dina, Morgan, and Francesca starred in the reality show Mrs. Eastwood and Company for the E! Network. In a brilliant piece of foreshadowing, while promoting her show, Ruiz commented, I hope we're still married when this is over. Well, they weren't, as by 2014 the two were divorced. I wouldn't expect anything less from the man with a fistful of dollars. Christina Sandera Shortly after his divorce from Ruiz, Eastwood met restaurant hostess Christina Sandera, and the two went public with their relationship at the Oscars in 2015. And Clint and Christina are still currently dating, but I wouldn't put it past the now 88-year-old actor to have a few more women up his sleeve. Wow, is it hot in here? Those were some of the many, 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 many women Clint Eastwood has been involved with over the years. Were all of these entanglements as big of a surprise to you as they were to me? How many of these scandalous stories do you remember hearing about? Did we leave one off? Let us know in the comments below, we read them all. And be sure to hit the thumbs up icon for us. And subscribe to the channel for more. Otherwise, Eastwood may come along and steal your lady. But as always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.